Hey guys, Game Guide here, and I have another mod video for you today. So, this mod is called Heart of Europe. It's actually a really interesting mod that I've been fooling around with all week to give you some of the best coverage I possibly can. So, Heart of Europe is a historical mod based in the 13th, uh, based in 13th century Europe, I should say. And I honestly think that they did a fantastic job with doing this. So, taking a look at some of the features, they have implemented a new map, eight new factions, a new troop tree, historically correct lords, every lord has unique equipment, which is really interesting, new ladies and NPCs, new mercenaries, new bandits, new companions, new items, new banners, new tournaments, bunch of new stuff, books are renamed into realistic Latin form, economy improvements, better recruiting system, and the starting animations have been removed, so on and so forth. There's also a lot of reskinning of the units, which is really nice. That's what you'll mainly find with this mod, but for the most part, I'm very impressed with it. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, one bug that I have heard, I'm not quite sure if it's exactly accurate, is that uh, war between lands is not exactly a thing in this mod yet. It is still in heavy beta. But if you just want to start your own kingdom and perhaps harass lords, that's perfectly fine. Like, this mod's great for that. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game. As you will notice, they have changed all the loading screens, they changed the homepage, they changed a bunch of stuff about this mod, which is actually really nice. Alright, welcome adventure to Mount and Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. Alright, so they have not changed this, from what I can see. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals, and in fact may have a much more interesting and more challenging early game. Alright, so we're going to be male, and you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was an impoverished noble, of course. You came into the world as son of a declining nobility, owning only the house in which they lived. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... We're going to go with a craftsman's apprentice, just to change it up a little bit. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with a local craftsman to learn to trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you to a journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wish to stay. Alright, then when I was a young adult, I became a... Let's go with a squire. Uh, for those of you that have not watched my other mod videos, I always go with the easier options, to have the easier start, because I'm just doing essentially a first impressions of a mod. So, it's tough to exactly, I guess, show everything off when you're starting off as, let's say, female and a peasant. That, that's tough, like... It takes a while to build up. Of course, you can do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, in the early game, you want to have the easier start, at least when showing off the mod. All right. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you name, when you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. Alright, so that's, uh, none of this has changed. The opening, um, options here haven't changed, which is fine. I mean, they work. They work. So, let's see, personal revenge, loss of a loved one. Let's go loss of a loved one. Alright, only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life. Alright, so let's become an adventurer and ride to our destiny. They have redone a little bit with the banners here, as you can see. New banners, all new banners. Um, that, I'm not quite sure what that looks like, to be honest with you. Maybe a torch of some sort, and the flame is kind of curling, I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me. Alright, um, that looks pretty good, let's go to the next page. That looks pretty good, I don't know, like, there's a lot of good ones here. Uh, let's go with this, just because it looks good. I'll, uh, I'll skip through the pages here, just to show you the rest, though. I mean, there are some really good ones. Alright, let's go with this. Alright, what will the game's saving policy be? Um, yeah. Alright, so I'll have my character's name be Adam, and we're going to boost our attributes here. So I'm going to put one into strength, two into intelligence, and one into charisma. That seems pretty good to me. 
All right, so we already have one Iron Flesh and two Power Strike, which is actually really good starting out. Uh, I'm going to put one more into Power Strike and one more into Iron Flesh, and we should be good for combat. After that, let's put... Hmm, let's put some Tactics up. Nah, well, one, one, uh, one point into Tactics. And Trainer, I'm going to boost up as much as I possibly can. That way we can show off units quickly. After that, let's see, what do we want to boost up next? Persuasion, perhaps. Put one into Persuasion and one into Prisoner Management so we can capture some guys. And we already have three leadership, which should be perfectly fine. All right, so let's boost our proficiency. Uh, I'd say that one-handed weapons is definitely the way to go in the beginning. And I guess we'll also put one into two-handed weapons. There we go. All right, so now we get to do some character creation. I'm just going to randomize till I find something that looks decent, and then I'll customize it a little bit myself. Uh, no. Ah, none of these are very appealing to me, to be honest with you. You know, let's just change the beard on this guy. That looks fine, whatever. Let's make this guy really old. No. Uh, let's give him just hints of gray. I always do that with all my characters, I don't know why. Just makes them look better, in my opinion. Alright, let's continue. You hear about Caladria. A land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. Alright. So, we can join a caravan to Frankfurt in Franken, join a caravan to Krakow in whatever the hell that's called, join a caravan to Pra in Czechy, take a ship to... Whatever that is in... Yeah, these names are just going to be butchered by me, so I'm not even going to try. Let's take a look at them. If some of you know how to say them, then that's great. That's great. If you can write out, like, phonetically in the comments, that'd be great, too. Anyway, um, let's, let's go to the easiest place to pronounce. Let's go to Frankfurt and Franken. All right, so now we are viewing the map. All right, so we can take a look all around. As you can see, they've done... Quite a nice job with the map, I think. The factions are spread out very well, and of course, in the middle, you have the Polonia, or whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah, these names, I'm just going to butcher them so horribly. But uh, ju just for the most part, uh, just know that the factions are spread out pretty well. The yellow over here are the Romans, which is definitely a faction that I'm interested in playing as in, um, in this. So, it's good. Alright, also up here, you have Venexia, and that's actually an interesting place for the city, as you can see, it's right across a bridge, which, uh, that's actually pretty neat, I wonder if it's going to be kind of like a cutoff, I don't know, it's good though. Alright, so, now that that is done, you notice that the opening mission is not there, okay? So, we don't have to save the brother of the merchant, we don't have to even meet the merchant, we don't have to fight the bandit in the streets, which is, I, I guess that's nice, uh, it's pretty good for some opening experience and opening money, but, you know, you can live without it, uh, sadly we only have 120 denars for right now, and apparently my morale is below average, so that sucks, because I'm the only one in the party, huh, alright, well, let's go ahead and go into Frankfurt, I'll show you guys around the castle real quick, let's take a look if they had done any changes, this castle does look pretty nice, I'm not quite sure if this is a change, but it definitely looks pretty good, and let's talk to... Kanig Richard. Do I know you? Of course you do. Okay, so he is the ruler of the Romanum Sacrum and the Lord of Frankfurt and all these other places. I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, although I do not recognize the device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, do you have any tasks for me? Okay, so let's go ahead and take that, just because. And let's talk to you a little bit. Uh, okay, so he's not going to take me as a vassal. That sucks. Alright. What are you and your men doing? We're resting. Circumstances have changed since we made that decision. I may reconsider shortly. There's a hole in our defenses. I must attend to the matter before I worry the affairs of the realm. Okay. How goes the war? We're not at war with anyone. Okay. Uh, what is the realm doing? No campaign in progress. However, that may change shortly. We're currently at peace. All right. 
And I assume you are his wife. No, you're not actually his wife, but you're somebody's wife. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's good information. Good information. So I'll show you some of these units right here. So here we have a Reich Sergeant. He looks very badass. This is some of the most upgraded you can get right here. Uh, very good armor. You also have a Reich Sergeant. No, these guys are the same. Yep. They. Uh, this guy also looks badass, although personally I'd go with this, to be honest with you. All right, let's leave and go to the town center. Show off this a little bit. Okay, so from what I can see, they haven't done any changes to the town, which is a little bit depressing, but nothing too major. Also, my guy looks pretty badass in his current armor and hat. That's pretty good. Okay, so is this the prison? Yeah, no, nope. Guildmaster. Okay, let's talk to you, see what you got to say. Hello, stranger. You seem to be new to Frankfurt. I am a Guildmaster of the town. All right. How does the wealth of this region compare to the rest of Caladria? Overall, the wealthy town in Caladria is known to be Estergom. Here in Frankfurt, we are poorer than 12 towns and richer than 10. Uh, so you're like middle ground. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and leave. We're going to start gathering some men. Uh, we're probably going to need to do some quests in order to get enough money to really afford all this. But let's go ahead and go over to Worms over here and see if we cannot get a nice little party. And I'll show you the look of the opening units. All right, so, seems unremarkable, okay, um, they're indifferent to me. All right, recruit volunteers, so we have eight Reich pro uh, Pobles volunteer to follow you, okay. So we can take them, again, I am probably butchering these names, I'm sorry about that, I really don't know. Anyway, here we go, so essentially these guys are peasants, they're Reich Pobel, I assume, I'm not positive on that, but anyway, they're essentially peasants, they have a hatchet. They have a leather helmet, and then they just have basic farmer clothes, basically. So, you're, they're not going to be too great in the beginning, but they certainly will get better later on. Let's go ahead and head to wherever the quest was telling us to go. So, we're going to need to collect taxes, which probably can't be done with the party size that we have right now. So, let's go ahead and head back over to... Actually, let's go to Strasbourg Castle, so we can hopefully get a quest that will be a little easier on us at our current level. Damn. All right, so there, where are these lords? Hmm. All right, let's go over to Regensburg, since that is the closest city, and I'm going to speed up there. Wait, is there a lord here? Yes, there is. All right. Egeno von Freiburg's party here. Okay. Okay, hopefully this guy has an easier quest for me, and also look at that armor. That looks very good. That's one of the features of the mod. All the lords have unique armor, and that is definitely something unique. So it's good. All right. Any tasks? All right, yeah, so this one we need to kill someone, which is perfectly fine. I can easily do that. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Burgroff Hermann II von Meisen's party. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Any tasks? No. Really? Fine. Alright. Good stuff. And as you saw, he also had unique armor if you go back in the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into our quest. We're going to need to hunt down Putar of Jelkala. And he's believed to be at Oldenburg. So let's go ahead and head over there. Gotcha. He's right over there. Alright. So it'll be a little bit of a journey for us. Not too bad, though. Usually you get these across the map, which is just ridiculous. Alright, so a bunch of guys around here. You have a training field that's used to quickly train up your guys. Nothing we need currently right now. Nothing we need currently right now. Right, let's take a look at our inventory, see what we start with. So start with a hunting crossbow, bolts, a uh, rusty sword, and a leather-covered co leather round shield. Okay. So, what would be better here? Armor 8. Ar wow, okay, so this uh, this destrier is definitely way better. Okay, battered old round shield, 169. Okay, yep. One-handed axe. All right, so we start off with a variety of stuff. Um, we also have smoked fish for our opening food source. We have a saddle horse that is much worse than our current horse, and the rest of the stuff is just worse than our current stuff as well. So we don't really need that stuff. Let's go ahead and go to Nordhorn Castle, see what we can do there. 
Let's actually talk to this guy, see if he has another quest for us for later. Wait, what? Maybe now I'll take your banner and your castle and your life? Well, that just seems like suicide. But that's actually really interesting. I wonder if you can perhaps kill him and then take his spot. I don't know. And you, oh, cattle. Sorry if I said castle. I wasn't really paying attention that much. Alright. Uh, no, no help. Alright. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting option. I didn't get with the, that with the other guys. At least I'm pretty sure I didn't. Alright, well, let's go to Oldenburg. Should be perfectly fine. It's, uh, right about the time of day where we want to do this. Let's recruit volunteers before we go in, though, just so we can actually get them. Because once you kill the bandit in here, the populace will hate you a little bit more. So. Alright. Where can we find him? There he is, I assume. Yeah, nervous man. Alright, let's talk to you. What do you want? I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Putar of Jalkali. You fit his description. Yeah, yeah, you've never killed anyone. Sure. I'm not going anywhere, friend. If you're going to have a fight, I'd, uh, you're going to have a fight for your silver today. Okay, no problem. Just need your head anyway. It's not a big deal. Alright, so I'm just gonna kinda go around him a little bit here. He's probably gonna start throwing stuff at me, because these guys are real bastards about doing that. Oh, damn. Ow. He also has a really good sword. Like, these guys are not to be messed with, for the most part. They actually aren't bad. There we go. Alright, anyway... Quest succeeded. Not too bad. We got hit once, which was my stupid mistake. I caught on a rock or something. Alright. So, as you can see, they're a little bit more against us now. But not a big deal. Nothing that we really care too much about. So, we're going to need to go and give this back to this guy right here. And he should be around Frankfurt, I'd imagine. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Another thing that you have, may have noticed is that there really aren't that many bandit groups roaming around. I'm not really sure why that is. I just haven't seen any yet. Um, so who are we looking for? Egeno von Freiburg. All right. Well, let's talk to him to see where that guy is. Okay, so... Okay. Um... No location. Egeno von Freiburg. It's close to Mainz Castle. All right. So Mainz. Okay. So yeah, he's right near Frankfurt, as I thought. All right. There he is. Stop. Alright. Yep, here he is. Alright, so about the task he gave me, I found him and gave him his punishment. Thank you. Alright, so we got a good amount of money from that. We got 300 denars, which is great. And any tasks for me? Okay, so he needs me to send a letter, which is always really, really nice. Okay. And as you can see... Our guys are just kind of scouting around. Okay, so bandit group. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. If the lords decide to keep chasing him, which I'm not quite sure they will. All right, let's grab some more guys and then see if we can take care of it. Seven more. What kind of bandits? There's bandits? Eh. I don't know if I'm too confident in my abilities with that, to be honest with you. All right, well, let's see if we can do it. I'll give you nothing but cold steel, scoo scum. All right, charge the enemy. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of farmers here, which is good. Um, as I said, they're not that impressive, and I hear horsemen. Yeah, I hear horsemen. Shoot. Okay. Staying closer, staying closer, staying closer. Alright, 
Okay, so we're about to just get charged to shit. Okay, that did not go as planned. Alright, well, we are totally screwed in this case. I thought these guys would just be weak guys on foot. No. I was completely wrong on that one, but I'm going to fight for as long as I can here. Oh, he got me. All right. Well, we are going to be taken prisoner, but that's okay. Uh, not a big deal. So, be careful of bandit groups. You know, bandits usually, I like in the past, have always meant that there really weren't any horsemen. They were mostly like usually when you found horsemen, it was like, uh, like, I guess, what are they called? Um, Soldiers that have essentially abandoned the army. I'm not. I'm blanking on their names completely. But anyway, it's not a big deal that we lost them there. Anyway, let's go back into character since we have leveled up. Let's go into strength and power strike. Let's improve our one-handed weapon skill since we were a bit lacking in that fight, I must admit. Okay. So, let's take... Nope, we already took uh, men from there. Okay. So, the outlaws are now leaving us alone. Good. Let's go to Wurzburg, maybe? Yeah, we're going to want to go to Wurzburg considering... Whoa, that was close. Way too close. All right. Got nine more, and I'm going to show you guys the upgrade of these, and then we will go ahead and continue on. It's actually a lot of bandits out now, which is actually really dangerous. Uh, as you notice, there are about 20 each, which I'm not sure if the mod has done anything to up the size of these bandit groups, but it certainly seems like it. Okay, so again, unique armor, which is really nice. Right. A task. No. Uh, again, big thing about this mod: all these lords are historically relevant, which is good. Um, I don't know. I just I like this mod a lot. It adds to Mountain Blade. Basically, if you just want Mountain Blade, exactly how native is, except with 13th century Europe included, that is essentially what you're going to get with this. And honestly, I have no problem with it. Uh, I wish they would add a little bit more to it. Uh, Mainly in terms of the opening customization, the opening story, uh, I don't know, like uh, add some new skills maybe, uh, new, um, I guess, interaction with lords, I don't know. But they did uh, they did a good job, I think, and honestly, I have no problem with this mod at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter into the castle. We're going to wait here for a couple of nights just so I can show you the upgrade tree. As I said, this mod is mainly... A reskinning, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just the gameplay mechanics have not changed. I really wish they would add some of the other type of uh, combat that some other mods offer, some of the elegant side to sides and whatnot. But nevertheless, I do enjoy the mod. I think it does a great job for what it's meant to do. Uh, ho un unfortunately, I couldn't show you a tournament. Um, let's see if we can actually find one. Maybe let's go ahead and go down to Frankfurt. If there's a tournament, I imagine it'd be there. All right, sadly, no. We can go in the arena, though. Let's see if the arena's any different. No, nah, it's not any different. Okay. I didn't really expect it to be, to be honest with you. Is there a reward? Two hundred fifty dinars for winning the whole thing. That's not even that much. I get more from killing an outlaw. Although, well, wait, what's going on? I hear fighting. What? Well, I guess there was a fight. Where are these guys spawning in at? Okay, whatever. That that was interesting. There was just a fight. That's good. I wonder if they just keep doing that over and over. Uh, anyway, let's stay at Frankfurt. I 
And I actually have a good idea how we're going to end this off, but uh, it requires a little bit more time. The next upgrade is a Reich Stotzmillis, or whatever you want to call it. Um, which is weird. A weird name, for sure. Let's talk to you real quick. Hopefully you have a quest for me. No, no quest for me. Alright, let's talk to the other lord right here. Hopefully you have a quest for me. I've done some help for you before. Oh, you you have another quest for me? What was the quest? Oh, deliver the message. Uh, I believe it to be at Bremen. Ah, I see, I see. Hopefully he'll still be here, because that's really annoying when they're no longer here. Alright, so who am I looking for? Ursch Bischoff Engelbert von Koln. That was about as close as I could possibly say it, so sorry if I butchered that, but I, I actually think I did pretty good on that one. Hmm. Whoop, is there a guy by me? No? Where is he? I mean, he could be all the way over here by now. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a tournament, actually. Yes! All right, so I can show you a tournament, which is great. All right, join the tournament. You are at Tier 1 of the tournament, so 64 participants remaining in the next round. There will be two teams with eight fighters each. I'm not going to bother betting on myself, really. I just want to show you. So, fight in the next round. As you can see, you're much heavily armored. You have shit tons of armor, which is great. Nothing worse than getting eliminated really quickly in a tournament. Because you have, like, no armor. Ow. This is good, though. Like, this is uh, better, in my opinion. Alright, let's couch this lance here and see if we can hit him. There we go. That worked out well. Yeah! Oh, are you kidding? Wow! Alright, well, that's the... Wait, oh? Wow, okay, awesome. Like, seriously? I only got two. You have been bested in this melee, but the Master of Ceremonies declares a recognition of your skill and bravery, allowing you to take part in the next round. Awesome. Here we go. That rarely happens. It really never does. Damn. Oh, God, it's, it's two versus one right here. Crap, I don't have a shield. This is bad. Huh. I don't see this going well, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was screwed. Like, there was literally, like, nothing I could do there. Alright, well, that, that's the look at the tournament. They have added armor. They've added better weaponry. So, essentially, it will go by a little bit slower. You won't just die in one hit like you always did, except, like, when you get hit by a couch lance when you're standing still, like I just did. Which is fine. That, that makes sense. Anyway, let, hopefully... Damn. I got a pardon. You know, you can't... You, no? Alright. Fine. Fine. Alright guys, so I hope you like this mod. Uh, I personally like it. I'm going to play it a bit more. But, uh, wow, look at all the lords coming in. Holy crap. Are they doing another tournament? No, damn. Well, I guess all those lords just missed the tournament. And they just wanted to come to the feast, which is fine, I guess. Alright, so even more lords are coming. This place is getting jam-packed. Wow, holy. Oh, we got another tournament. Alright, let's fight in the next round. So I'm going to, this is the last one I'm going to do, but, uh, looks like we have three teams with, wow. Okay, so we got one. You know, it also, the, the flat out, the outfits look better, which is nice. I mean, it's not just, like, more armor, it, it just looks better for kind of like that dueling atmosphere. And, oh boy, hello. This guy behind me needs to go away if I'm to do anything.
Yeah! Can't believe that actually worked, but it did. Alright, so far so good. We've gotten two. Oh, I didn't get him, really? Did so much damage there. Alright, so as I said, you're not going to die in one cheap hit. Okay, hit him, did 31 damage, that's a pretty good hit. Pretty solid. I'm trying to outmaneuver these guys for right now. There we go, another one. Oh, are you kidding? Give me give me another pardon. Okay, he gave me a pardon. Thank god he did. Alright, fight in the next round. Here we go. Alright, so more teams, okay. So I am yellow. I always need to watch my back, cause like that's how I keep dying. I always uh, get lanced in the back when I kill someone, which sucks. But I guess that's just kind of how it goes. Yeah. I actually got a lord with that one, Burgar Friedrich von Nuremberg or something. Crap, where are all the yellows? Are they all over there? Or are they all dead? I don't know. I really... It delivered couch lance damage, but it did nothing. Alright, seems legit. Really... You absorbed all that damage with your shield. Are you serious? Okay. 78 damage to his horse. His horse has got to be dying. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Worked out really well. Alright. So, it's two yellows. I'm one of them. And then we have a red and then we have a green. Okay. Took that guy down. So do I have a... No, I don't have a sword, so that's going to be really tough to kill a guy on foot. Well, let's see if we can do it. Okay. Well, no, I hit the horse. 95 damage to the horse, too. That is just ridiculous. There we go. All right, come on. Come on. Me and yellow got this. There we go. Woo. All right, Mark Groff Friedrich I von Biden. Yeah. All right, fighting the next round. Here we go. Four teams of four fighters on each. This is even bigger than the last round. What? Okay, no, that's a green, so I don't want to hit him. Damn, where are all the other colors? Okay, there goes one. Okay. Okay, so I just did seven damage, which is pathetic. All right, same for the guys in the corner over here. Oh, thank God they went for him and not me. Thank God. All right, so there's a guy on foot. 
There we go. That actually was much easier than I thought. Usually guys on foot give me a lot of trouble when using a lance, but I guess not. Not this time. Oh, we're level 3. That's awesome. We're doing well in this tournament. All these guys are stuck in the corner, though, so I'm just kind of, you know, swooping around. Picking them off. Wow. Wow, this is just... Wow. Alright, well, last one we need to kill right here. Yeah! Wow, we just got, like, all of the competition. Awesome. Victory is yours. Alright, so, two teams of three fighters on each. This is what we had a couple rounds ago. Okay. Hundred and thirty-one damage! Holy crap! Damn it! Oh, thank God he went for the other guy. I would have been pissed. I think the Lord would have granted me pardon, though, after all the guys I killed in the last round. I mean, come on. Really? Uh, let's go grab another horse, I guess. Let's go for this one. Okay, here we go. This is just a practice horse. It seems to take a lot of punishment, though. Yeah! Woo! Heinrich Walter von Romschwag. Yeah! Taste that. Alright. Last one. Two teams. One fighter on each. This is for the championship. I refuse to lose. All right, so there's an opening 11 damage. 56 damage. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to just lance the shit out of him for the final bit. Damn, didn't pick up enough speed there. All right, let's go to the end of here. So we can hopefully pick up enough speed. Okay, another 16 damage. Really? Only 23 damage with a couch lancet? There we go. So, that was just a Templar Knight, I expected a lore, but no- uh, What? Another one? Did he just seriously get pardoned? Whatever. You're mine, buddy. You're mine. Doesn't even matter. 48 damage to the horse. 5 damage to the horse. 15. Wow, that was a long hit. Holy crap, I didn't realize I could even reach that far. 36 damage. This guy's very heavily armored then, because, my god, he's not doing anything to me. There we go. This guy was an actual lord. Ulrich von Bomberg. I win! Holy crap! I just won 12,000 denars. That is awesome. Holy crap, let's go to the feast, and I'm going to end it here, guys. So, I I hope that I could give you a bit more of an insight into this mod. It's essentially a reskinning of Mountain Blade Native, except with a 13th century Middle middle Europe kind of feel, center, Central Europe. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and as you can see, these guys all look really awesome. Very nice feast, very nice feast. This is definitely a, game, a mod, I should say, that I'm going to revisit a lot. Um, with that, though, I think I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, and with that, I'm ending it. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.